not ugly. It's just hungry. It eats everything that comes near it. Including your past. Becca told me you were troubled. Are you here to give me advice, Rev? <laughs> it's what I do. When I was at the Krishnamurti novitiate, we had a place we called the Shouting Cliffs. Whenever the way became too difficult, we would stand at those cliffs and we would shout, scream out all our frustrations, desires, hungers, all the things that held us back from our chosen cause. I'm not one for shouting at rocks. <laughs> so don't shout. Speak softly. Record a message to your fiancé and send it into the singularity. Sometimes it's enough just to write the letter, even when you know no one is going to read it. In the past few hours, I've tried. I've tried 11 different ways to say goodbye to you. And in the process, I've discovered something. I can't. I miss you, Sarah. And I think of you every day. Everything I know about love, I learn from you. And even in my darkest moments, it's it's your love that gives me the strength to continue. So no matter what happens or where I go, part of you will be with me. I love you, Sarah. I'll always love you. Dylan? Ah, uh, Dylan? We got something freaky going on here. I'm afraid to ask. It's all very exciting. We seem to be receiving a signal from the black hole. That's impossible. Nothing comes out of a singularity. You want impossible? Listen to this. Dylan, I'm receiving your message. What's your status? Can you hear me? Dylan, I'm receiving your message. What's your status? Sarah. Harper. You get that signal back, you get it back right now. 